Hey friends, Brianna here. Thank you so much for stopping by and welcome to the 2020 Christmas clean and decorate with me video. I could not be more excited to be sharing this video with you today on this wonderful Make It Happen Monday. For those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Bri or you may know me as Brianna K over on TikTok and Instagram. And every Monday I like to make a motivational or inspirational type video to get you started on the week ahead. And so I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and turn that notification bell on. That way you know when the next video is live. I post every Monday and Friday at 11 a.m. This month I have tons of holiday type videos. I'll have a Thanksgiving recipe series, Christmas inspiration, and today is a giveaway video. With 2020 being the way that it is, I would absolutely love to treat you to a $50 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and answer below in the comment section what your favorite Christmas movie is. And I will be announcing the winner next Monday, November 9th at 11 a.m. So make sure your notifications are turned on and best of luck friends. And so we're taking down one holiday and putting right up the next. So all of the Halloween decor is getting taken down, dusted off, and organized in each tub. A little trick I have to make sure that your house isn't overly cluttered is to set aside a certain amount of tubs that you want to store your decor in, right? So I have, for the size of my home, one tub basically for each month. So I have an August tub that is for early fall decor, an October tub, which is for Halloween, and then I typically have a Thanksgiving tub for November, but I just jumped right into the Christmas magic because I needed the lights up and my kids adore them. So I'm so happy that I did. And then with each tub, I write on what is in the tub. That way I know and it needs to come out. I don't like doing color-coded bins just because I like to be able to reuse them for different things. And so I always stick to clear. I just like to know what is in each. After I took down the Halloween decor, I started to dust off all of the surfaces. And I have a question for you. With each holiday, do you change out your holiday photos? That's kind of one of my favorite things about the holidays is seeing what we did the year prior. So I always like to keep our old pictures in the same frames. Moving on to cleaning off the windows. I always have so many little fingerprints on here because I have a toddler who loves looking out the window at the field behind us. Christmas time's got the best of me Then it starts to snow in a heart We will know that the falling in love I always like to start with the focal point of my house when decorating and for our house that is above the entertainment center in our living room. So that wreath is from Target last year and it's back in stores this year which I'm really excited about because it's such a beautiful piece. On Friday, I am showing my Target shop with me. So if you want to see some of the new pieces that I picked up this season, tune in for Friday's video. It will also be a toddler holiday clothing haul that I'm excited to share too. And when decorating small spaces, I really like to utilize movement and texture. And so that sequence runner is actually a tablecloth from my wedding. I like to reuse pieces like that too because they hold a sentimental value. So that table runner is a beautiful gold sequence and I feel like it really picks up the light and the sparkles that are on the garland and then some of the enhancement pieces too. So that's just a little tip that I have. You can get really cheap fabric at like Joann's and that will just elevate your small spaces. And I also like to create my garlands as well. I find that garland can be really expensive even if you're shopping at places like Target. And so what I bought was a $5 
Target garland. It's going to be all over my house. You will see that shortly. And then I add little things that I get from Joann's or the dollar store, like sparkly gold poinsettias, sparkly pine cones. I'll add in some glittery garland pieces just to like give it a little bit of oomph. And then I'll decorate it up with stuff that I find at Marshall's like that deer. And I have some cute candle stands from Target. And for this secondary focal point, I'm just enhancing my vanilla bean no will candle. I did a Bath and Body Works haul in my last video, so check that out if you're interested. But I've already burned my candle all the way to the max. I need to run out and get more. And then I just decorated it with some pine cones, leftover ornaments, and those gorgeous flowers from Walmart. up next we are putting my curtains back on the rod i popped them in the washing machine i like to do this every so often just because we get seasonal allergies and it helps with the dust and then i'm going to add a garland to the top of these curtains i really like to add different heights with my decor and i like to keep it simple especially for thanksgiving and so you'll see in a bit i'm going to string garland on the top of this and i just feel like it really brings like a cozy almost like home alone 90s vibe to my house that i can't get enough of but it's really simple it's really magical with the lights and every time we have dinner here my kids always point it out so that just brings me so much joy next we are going to string garland on my staircase i'm just using again that five dollar garland from target if this is interesting to you or this is something that you want in your house, I would say run and pick it up now because this stuff usually sells out year after year. Um, and then I'm just adding some pretty twinkle lights. I always add those to my decor and pick up extras too because I just feel like it adds so much even throughout the year. I'll add twinkle lights for birthday parties or little hosting events, things like that. And these again are those $5, not even, I think they're less than that walmart flowers that are just so beautiful up close you'll also notice that i'm not adding stockings and i'm not adding a tree we're saving all of that for our annual christmas extravaganza that we do the day after thanksgiving we don't host thanksgiving in our house usually we're traveling to multiple families and we're happy to do so but i still like to have leftovers so the friday after thanksgiving we do a big christmas extravaganza in our house where We'll get like some Christmas jammies to unwrap. I'll make like a mini Thanksgiving meal. We have Christmas movies and decorate the tree and do all that fun stuff. So you'll see that in an upcoming video, I guess a part two to my Christmas clean and decorate with me. Ho, ho, ho. We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake. And then we go skating on the frozen lake. Saying hi to every friendly face. And later we warm up by the fireplace Carolers are singing outside our door Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk from house to house To wish us all a Merry Christmas Day And if you've been following my channel for a while now, you know we haven't had a couch for like five months and can I tell you it feels so good to be able to have a couch in time for Christmas with the Christmas tree. It's the little things people. <laughs> So I'm stopping our Christmas clean to remind you if you have cabinets like mine that don't go all the way to the ceiling, you need to clean them. I'm going to put garland up on here and I just wanted to clean them. The last time I cleaned them was last Christmas. And friends, <laughs> this is what I just cleaned. And this is what it looked like before when I got up here. I was like, oh, ooh. so I just spray it a little bit and let me show you. If you're into this cleaning like I am, oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> so I'm cleaning this. Look at that. Bow. Merry Christmas. You filled the animal. <laughs> cleaning this and I'm cleaning my fan because that's another disgusting mess. So reminder, clean the top of your cabinets. And really it gets like that because you're cooking and the oil and all the different food is just getting sprayed around so 
After I clean these, I'm going to line the top of the cabinets with parchment paper. That way I don't ever have to do a really deep clean like I just did again. I can just remove the parchment paper, throw it in the trash, and start fresh. Last year I thought about how things can into cleaning you're gonna get a whole lot of that here I love sharing cleaning videos because I love to watch them I share my food recipes I like to eat a paleo healthy based diet it really just kind of helps me with my mental health and keeping my ducks in a row so that I can show up and be a positive happy mom for my kids so if you have not done so yet please make sure you subscribe to my channel introduce yourself in the comments I love you guys. I really try to answer all of the comments to get to know you as I am a new channel and I appreciate your support any way that I can get. So vacuuming, <laughs> lots of glitter on the floor. I still have my daughter's rooms to do, which means there will be even more glitter. I'm putting a garland on my bed and doing the bathroom. So we still have lots of cleaning left for this video. I'm also doing lots of laundry and getting all of like the Christmas jammies and Christmas clothing from last year in the drawer so that way we can utilize all of that to its fullest potential. <laughs> And today's video is a huge collaboration with so many of my girlfriends that I met through Brianna Kay's YouTube class. By now you know that I took her YouTube class in July and it has really helped my channel. I, I could not be more thankful for her and so today we are doing a big collab of all of my girlfriends. So once you're done watching this video, click the link below so you can watch the playlist and get tons of holiday cleaning and decorating inspo i mean these girls are so talented so i back everything that they do and really do i love them so much yeah, let's go outside we can hang out on the beach without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in christmas time We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is falling. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. When I was a kid, I dreamed of the day that I could buy a house that had stairs that we would be able to run down for Christmas mornings and see all the presents under the tree. And now that I'm a mom, I wish I had a rancher. <laughs> My stairs are fine, but I feel like they are such a pain to clean. Who's with me? In Christmas times. Oh, oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. 
having a good, good time. This crushed candy cane scent, it smells so good when you wash your hands. My daughter and I absolutely love it. And actually she's two and a half and she really does love washing her hands. And I love it because we're in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> so I added the crushed candy cane scent to my kitchen. And come on, we have to have the snowman soap container. What kind of mom would I be if I didn't have one of those? And if you watch other YouTube cleaners, you know that everybody has this O-Cedar mop. And at first I was a little bit skeptical of the mop, but believe the hype. This mop is the best. It has like a little spinner so that it takes all the excess water out. And I'm cleaning with a little bit of pine salt on my floors today. Typically I try to keep it like either natural or just use water bleach and tide, but I like the smell of pine salt around the holidays. It reminds me of home. Can't believe it's been a year Riding through the winter night Thinking of my only wish I don't need a perfect snowman Moving on up to the master bedroom where I just added this beautiful garland I got from Costco a couple years ago and it matches a wreath that I keep outside of my home and I just feel like it's the perfect little touch of Christmas decor in the bedroom and once Christmas gets a little bit closer I'll probably add one of those mirrored um, table stand trees you know that you see at Marshall's I think they're so pretty and I think they would look so nice in this room with like neutral modern tones go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with the smile it's quirky it's just mine. casually making a fool of myself on the internet <laughs> dancing and rocking out to 90s in sync and mariah carey christmas jams what do you guys listen to when you clean your house usually i have either some music playing but uh my birthday was recent and my husband got me some airpods earbuds i don't even know what they're called gosh i must be old <laughs> but the things with that strings that you put in your ear so i'll listen to like motivational podcasts or i'll put one in my ear with just music helps pass the time and keeps me focused and keeps me upbeat and now that it's christmas i mean 
Come on, we need that holiday cheer. As long as I spend this day with you, mm-mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Ooh, making plans, what we're gonna do? I feel so blessed that I can be with you. Cause God knows that I've been longing for you. I just wanna hold you close. And for my daughter's room, we did put up the mini tree and decorated it together. And I wanted to add a little bit more sparkle. And I had these lights from Amazon that I bought for her birthday party last year. And so I figured we'd add a little bit of lights for the holiday season just for some extra magic and sparkle. Okay, so I have a question. I think I like the lights better here because the Christmas tree is gonna go on her nightstand over there and I just think it will look really like wintry and sparkly and really beautiful. But they're long enough to go on this wall. So, <laughs> can you let me know down below which you prefer? Do you like the lights up against the bed or like by the window or would you prefer them behind her name? I got this four foot tall tinsel tree for $10 two years ago at Walmart because it was an open box deal, meaning somebody returned it. So if you're really on a budget, either wait for after the holidays and look for open box deals. So I just use like a sequins table runner for my wedding and I wrap it around the tree. Most of these decorations I got from Walmart, again, they were really inexpensive. I don't think you need to buy expensive ornaments to make a vision come to life. Dollar Tree has some great options. Kmart used to have great options. We love big lots. And Walmart is usually our go-to for this type of stuff as well. And that reaction is the exact reason why I do all of this. This season truly is all about just being with family. And so please don't feel like you have to do anything. You know your family best. You know what's going to make them happy. So just do what makes you happy. And so you don't have to spend an extra dollar. You don't have to do anything extra. Only do the traditions that bring you joy and keep you happy because really us moms gotta bring the magic and that means that we have to stay happy so moving on to the kids bathroom cleaning up the sink and then i got this cute little gel cling to put on the mirror again this is from the target dollar spot i think it was like three bucks and when she came in i forgot that i put it up there to surprise her she was like oh my goodness she was so surprised and i was like oh Belle, do you want to name him frosty she was like, no, I name him Snowman. <laughs> of course. Putting the winter candy apple scent in here and then moving on to the toilet. We are fully potty trained in this house, which means I gotta clean this toilet even extra now. So the last thing I am doing for this clean and decorate is washing and folding all of our old Christmas clothes. I keep them in storage in one bin that way I know where everything is and I can just wash it for the season and I like to bring it out right after Halloween. That way we get the most use out of those clothes. So I really didn't buy anything extra. All the stuff that I did get will be in Friday's Target Shop With Me and Toddler Holiday Clothing Haul. But because we're really not going out many places, I just got like some play clothes to fit the girls and a couple pajamas because that's basically what we wear all day anyway. 
and and then I did get a new family pajama set from Burt's Bees just because we love those jammies and we get so much use out of them in the winter time but I'll be leaving you here with a nice little fold the laundry motivation so I hope that you all got what you needed from this video today and thank you so much for stopping by please remember to check out the huge holiday playlist for even more cleaning and holiday decorating inspiration thank you again for being here if you have not subscribed please kick that button and thank you again for being here have a wonderful holiday i love you all so much sending love from my family to yours bye friends <laughs>